There we go. First fish of the day. A nice smallie. On four pound test in a, a field of rocks and current. Just gotta play him. He's a scrapper. Actually, not really sure how big he is. Probably between 12 and 15, I'd guess, but I'm not sure. The four pound test gets a braided real fast on these rocks. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he's not a bad smallie at all. A little better than I thought. Cool. Oh man, nice first fish. You know, I've only cast it about four times, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I thought he was going to be about 12, but he's a solid 15. Awesome. I got him on this, um, this, uh, that same thing I've been talking about for a while, this twister meanie with the extra long tail, extra curly, 1 8 ounce. It's uh, just a type of curly tail jig, basically, that Mr. Twister makes. Tennessee shad color. Just make sure my, my, my zero's on today. Oh, man, I keep, I keep guessing fish are a little bit um, shorter than they really are. He's a 15 and a half. Cool. Thanks for the fight. There's a nice fish. Feels pretty heavy. I gotta be careful with this guy. Oh wow. Taking drag. I really wish I had six pound test for this place. This is a <laughs> this is the Susquehanna River. Home of many trophies. Wow, that's a nice bass. Holy cow. He's going right downstream. I might have to chase him. Wow, that's a really nice bass. Work him out. Or not. If you're going to come towards me, come towards me. It's right there, gliding over the rocks. Yeah, let's go chase him, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna get him over all these rocks and stuff. Holy cow, big bass, I'm gonna get him over. Big, small mouth. Seems pretty big, at least to me. Maybe not that big, oh, he's a little smaller than I thought. <laughs> he looks like a 19 out there, he's closer to 16, 17. Go right in. There you go. All right, let's see how big he is. That's still a nice smallie. Holy cow. Yeah. That's a nice smallmouth bass. Wow. Awesome. Not a trophy, but a beauty. Got him on that same jig. Just measure him quick and then release him. I hope you can hear me with the waterfall and everything. I hope I'm not yelling too loud. Um, man, he has a really tall back. Let's see here. That's it. Yeah, he's a 17. Awesome. Beautiful smallmouth. Gorgeous, barely 17 inch smallie. <laughs> Another nice bass. Oh, man. This time on a chartreuse bucktail jig. A little orange dress and whatever. Oh, mama. Came jumping out of the water right as I turned the camera on. He's not bad. Solid 17 at least. And he's going, doing the same exact thing. Right downstream. Just got to try and play him. Try and get him back once he takes, once he gets a little tired. 
working on them pretty good. There's a lot of force on this line right now. Oh, it's caught on a rock. That's not good. <laughs> All right, bringing them back. Try and keep the line at an angle so it doesn't slice on these rocks. He's right there, kind of by that round rock. Oh yeah, nice bass, nice bass. Not bad at all. Eek. No, no, get right up here, buddy. I'll take you down there, sure. Oh yeah. Nice bass. Look at him. Beauty. Man, solid smallies today. Oh wow, that's a really nice bass. He's gonna break 18. Wow, that's amazing. If it breaks 18, it's a special smallmouth to me. If it breaks 19, it's a really special smallmouth. Man, he's hooked really well though. Yeah, just one second. All right, I'll get some pliers. But wow, look at him. Man, solid smallmouth. Let's just measure him quick. Gonna want to get him back in the water pretty fast. Carefully. Man, nice bass. Shoot. Oh no, I lied. He's like 17 and 5 eighths. Still awesome bass though. Fantastic fish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hooked into something that doesn't budge. On four pound test, not good. Either the biggest log in the world or a muskie or a carp. Or something like that, you know? In the world's most ridiculous current. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Holy cow. Heavy fish. Just doesn't move. It could be a huge cat too. Oh my gosh. Can't go any further. He's just sitting right there. He won't move. I can't move him. There we go. Just edging him an inch at a time. And he's taking 10 feet for every inch. Holy cow, man. Huge fish. I'm on the bucktail jig. I don't know what he is. I really doubt I'm going to get him in. He's in crazy current. Yeah, I wish I hooked him on the big pole. I'd hork him right in. Maybe. This only happened to me once before on a different river. And it didn't turn out well. You just can't even budge a fish like this. Look at this. Look at him taking drag. That's definitely a fish. See how he's jerking it? That's crazy. Gotta stop him and turn him. Man, oh man. Come on. I want to catch you. Oh man. Ow, my arm hurts. Oh, 
Come on. A lot of line stretch. He took it pretty far out. I don't even know. Can I go down here and pull him down towards me? Man, if I can get an angle on him, then I can kind of uh, get him in. If I can get over that island, maybe. Just got to be careful of this current. It's not that... current isn't that bad right here, but it could get bad. Come on towards me. Real smart fish. Man, he is strong. Holy cow. He's not going with the current, he's going against it. And I can't even budge him. Oh man. Let's see, what can I do here? If I can just get over this dang island, I might have half a chance. He could easily just like slice the line on a rock. It's just four pound test. He could spool me too. Oh my goodness. I've been waiting for this moment to happen again for years. There, got it. Over on the island. Now to pull him into the current, hopefully. Yeah, now he's coming a little. Maybe. Yeah, there's the line stretch. He took it so far. Oh, what happened? Oh, he fell off the hook. Really? I was going to get him. Dang it. Man, that stinks. <laughs> that stinks so bad. Oh, man. Did he fall off the hook or did he break it? Nope, he cut me off. I felt it like, kind of like, you know, snap like that over a rock. He probably just sliced me on a rock. That stinks. Oh well. There we go. Got another fish. Took a while. Nice. That's why. The smallies turned off and the walleyes turned on. That's awesome. Beautiful little, I don't know, probably 14, or I don't know, I can measure. I have to take measure right here. I haven't measured, I've been eyeballing fish for a couple months now, so I'm a little rusty. I don't know. That's a little over 15, 15 and a half, just the skinniest 15 and a half inch walleye in the universe. Cool. Got him on this um, orange. One eighth ounce curly tail jig. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> Feisty smallie. Not as big as the other ones, but yeah. Cool. It's starting to get a little dark, but I got them. I think this is a hot steel color rapala, but I'm not positive. He's about 12 inches. Awesome. Hold him up against the sunset. In case you can't really see him. Probably can though. I can still see color so the camera can probably see. 